Hi there, I'm Luke Correa, owner and webmaster of LukeCorea.com and the sole operator of the YouTube and Twitter accounts of Luke Correa. I have a massive ego. Mic technique. It's a little intimidating to start off with, but we're going to breeze right through the basics together. There's a few key steps to keep in mind along the way, and we're going to address all of them as we discuss talking, whispering, and the fun one, shouting. Talking 101. You're going to want to get up nice and close to your mic. Distance and angle are the two important things to keep in mind here. So, how do we set both of those at once? Easy. Step 1. Wrist on your nose, fingers pointing up. Step 2. Boy. Flex your wrist forward just until it starts to hurt. The diaphragm of your mic is going to go directly on top of where your fingertips are. Pull your hand away, but keep your mouth in the same position, and boom, you're done. Now you're ready to record like a real voice acting prodigy. This is a tip I picked up from Minton, by the way, who's a great voice actor. Go follow him. Now you're going to want to set your gain levels to the point where you're as close to peaking as you can comfortably get. Make sure to leave yourself some wiggle room, though. You can always boost it in post if you need to. Now, if you've got a USB mic, this is going to be a little tricky. You'll have to play around with your incoming levels in your editing software, which can be annoying. But if you've got an XLR mic, then all you need to do is turn this little dial here until your peaks aren't peaking over the top. From here, there's a bunch of different techniques and accessories you can get or buy to help you out if you notice problems like popping, echoing off the walls, or mouth noise. But we're keeping things as close to the fundamentals here as we can. Most people hate the sound of their own voice starting out, and even more people get nervous if they're placed in front of a mic. So build your confidence now, and it'll shine through in your performances. Whispering. Now, try to be careful with this one. If you're auditioning for something like, say, a video game, the casting director probably expects you to do a stage whisper. Which sounds like this and isn't actually a whisper at all. But if you want to do some proper whispering, make sure you turn your game down a smidge, move in close, and go. Now you're definitely going to catch more pops, puffs, and mouth noise doing this, but some people actually like this. But unless you're specifically shooting to do ASMR, your casting director probably won't share the same enthusiasm. Shouting. Now this is the fun part. Your game needs to go way down for this. Like, way down. 20% down. Alternatively, if you've got a mic like mine here, you can just flick this little minus 20 dB switch. It'll drop the gain down by 20 decibels without me needing to adjust the gain dial, and we can flick it back up when we're done shouting and want to talk normally again. It's definitely not a catch-all solution, but it's very helpful. So now with your gain reduced, you're free to get as loud as you want. I said, with your gain reduced, you're free to get as loud as you want. Get as loud as you want! That's it. Now you know the basics of mic technique, and you're ready to become a real Don LaFontaine voice match for bad movie trailers. Or you could take on unique roles that reflect your own one-of-a-kind voice and style and inflections. And, you know, you know, I mean, I'm not your dad, but, you know, it might be a good idea. Good luck.